Welcome to another episode of Chicago History. I'm Richie Z, and I got a interesting segment for you today. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, three churches that closed down in Chicago, and all within a mile and a half, two mile radius of each other. So in this one little community where we're heavily populated, three massive, gorgeous churches closed down. First one I want to talk about a little bit is uh, Holy Family. It's on Roosevelt Road just east of Racine. It's been there since 1857, folks. It's the second oldest church in the city of Chicago. Church that survived the Great Chicago Fire interesting story about Holy Family and the Great Chicago Fire. Fire only started about maybe three, four miles away. Congregation got together, the pastor got together, the priests, the nuns, and they started praying to the Blessed Virgin. Now from everything I've read with all my tours and all the things I do, the fire got within blocks of the church. The wind shifted and blew the fire back toward the city of Chicago. So that church was saved back in 1871. Well, last year, 2019, it closed. Another beautiful church on the corner of Ashland and 13th. They're going through demolishing it now. They're ripping the windows out. The roof is deteriorated. It's just, I've watched this church. I've lived in this area. This is the medical district of Chicago. Uh, right by Rush Hospital and University of Illinois. Uh, I've watched this church really deteriorate, and uh, it's kind of sad to watch that. The third church I want to talk about is uh, St. Adelbert's, and that's at the corner of uh, Polina and 17th. And it's another gorgeous Polish church, and they've done so many things to try to keep it open and that. You're seeing shots of all these churches as we're talking about it. St. Adelbert's uh, really was special. Um, the fight to keep it open uh, went on and on and on. It's still going on today. There's actually posters and stuff on the church. And uh, people put up uh, pictures of uh, the Blessed Virgin and, um, you know, icons that they want to pray to. You know, I, I got a kind of a, a thing I just want to touch on. You know, could it be that God and Mother Nature aren't happy with the human race? The way we've abused our planet? You know, we've had 100-year uh, floods. In the last 20 years, we've had 100-year floods every year. Some even two, three times a year, depending on the community. We've had earthquakes. We've had tsunamis. We've had volcanoes, we've had tornadoes, hurricanes, plagues that have hit the world. Not only our country, West Nile virus has hit the world. Asian carp destroying our waterways in, in uh, Illinois. The swine flu a number of years ago. Tree virus took out a million trees in the Chicago area in Illinois. The list goes on and on and on. Sometimes you gotta wonder, you know, People know where to go when they need a miracle, when they need something. They're begging God for a miracle to happen. But once they get that miracle, they forget about God again. I was born and raised a Catholic. I went to eight years of um, Catholic grammar school. We went to church every day. The Ten Commandments, we knew what they were. We prayed. Um, and it was really, uh, you know, it was really something. But we've gotten away from praying, uh, supporting the churches. Now we're into this uh, coronavirus. Sometimes you got to wonder if it's not a, a way of Mother Nature and, and God warning us that if we don't change our ways, something drastic is going to happen. Well, look around you, and like I say, one of the reasons I wanted to do this segment was uh, Holy Family Church. Can't go in there anymore. It's closed down. St. Adelbert's, they're starting to tear that down. You see all the scaffolding and everything else around it. 
what a gorgeous church inside and out, the stained glass and everything else, they're taking all of that out. And same thing with that church at uh, Ashland and 13th. You know, I don't even, there's not even a name on that church anymore. It's just, it really is sad. Um, this year I've been going to churches. Uh, somebody asked me, you know, we've done uh, two churches. We're going to be doing, we're going to be filming a lot more churches, but with this uh, coronavirus going on right now, they're closed to churches. I can't even get in there to film. There's orders, you know, that have come down and you can't go into church, period, okay? I don't blame them. I mean, I don't want to get the virus and I don't want to spread the virus, but it would be kind of cool to have a place like these churches to go. There's been times where I've gone in the middle of the afternoon during the week and I've gone into these churches. On tours of Chicago that I've done, I've taken people into these churches on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon when I do a tour and I take you through one of these churches, you see a lot more than you would if you went in by yourself. But man, it always, it just, it takes away all the troubles in my mind and, and, and everything. And I'm able to talk to God on a one-on-one. -on -one. It's really cool. Go to one of the masses also. Once this coronavirus, it's going to be over. It's going to change the way we, uh, get together you know there's going to be social distancing there's going to be different you know masks and gloves and all this stuff just get used to it um, but you know you can go and thank God for what you have you know sometimes well you guys all know I've been doing TV and radio for 30 years and on my radio shows I used to say God I might not be happy with what you put me through but I want to thank you for everything you pulled me through. Go to Richie Z, 312-841-2560. Check out our website at richiez.com, R-I-C-H-I-E-Z-I-E.com. Go fund me at Richie Z. It's very important that we get funding for programming like this.